Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. And uh, last time we went to uh, the Imperial City and kind of uh, talked to the High Chancellor, who wasn't, wasn't really, you know, very helpful for us. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and keep on continuing with this Allies of Bruma quest. And we still have, you know, most of the cities, because really we've only done uh, Shaden Hall and talk to the High Chancellor in Imperial City, but then we went ahead and it took a look at uh, Color Wheels type stuff, um, all the little shops she added and the little things, and uh, actually pretty cool. Um, so uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep on going with this, but uh, before we do that, you know, we've been going through like half of the game, right? Um, I think this is like the halfway point. Um, at least that's what I consider it. Um, it does ramp up from here, but uh, as far as the uh, quests and stuff, um, it's about, about halfway. But, uh, you know, we've, we've been going through the game pretty much with the... Uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm getting confused in the buttons here. I think I'm just playing too many games. But, uh, you know, we've been playing through with the uh, Color Wheel Sexy Oblivion Overhaul. I really like it. Um, but, you know, we're, we're still using all this same armor and stuff, and we're kind of using the same weapon we've had, you know, for quite a while. So, I started thinking maybe we'll do some uh, side quests and at least try to get a better weapon. So, I'm going to try to get the uh, Honor Blade of Choral, or Coral, and uh, the way yeah. we do that is we have to do this quest line with these uh, brothers here. You haven't so, seen my uh, sons, have you? Seek my they went off into the forest so many, fight those so many, monsters. So many it. voices. I'm worried about Cut it out. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Shainal. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Apologies, my good friend. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about Pretty it, cool. I am. All Didn't right. I see you in Shainal, they say? But I'm sick of it. Sick and tired tired and sick and perhaps a little drunk but never mind you look like the honest sort so I've got a job for you you're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name and you're going to tell him <laughs> you're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own you should cease and desist immediately there's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. Really? All right, so this is like the first part the of this uh, kind of a quest line to get the uh, the Honor Blade of Coral. And, um, yeah, we're going to try to push through it real quick. Um, let's see. So now I have to go to uh, Shaden Hall, uh, which is over here, and um, basically find his imposter. And so, uh... Yeah, we'll just take a run over here, and I believe he's in here. Um, I've done this quest a couple of times, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, he ain't in here, so maybe he's upstairs. Maybe he's sleeping. There he is! They even wear exactly the is same thing, Is there something I can know? do for you? Uh, Reynold Jermaine. He, he's alive? Yeah. I was told that my mother and brother never survived. This is amazing. All right. Cool. I'll need to go see him at once. You'll have to excuse though, yeah. me. I'd better leave right away. But please, come and see us in Coral. It would be wonderful for us both to be able to thank you for helping us find each other again. All right. So that's all there was this to this one. This reunion will be the happiest day of my life. You know, it was a big 50 gold for us. But, uh, yeah, so now we just go back to Coral. But uh, the problem is, here in Coral, we're going to have to kind of wait because, uh, well... Um, uh, things don't happen, uh, so fast. He actually has to walk here, or whatever. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, I think, uh, the hell was that? And at any rate, um, oh, there it is right there. So we, we kind of wait, and then just kind of push on through this quest. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the, uh, to the castle and talk to the, uh, I don't know. I don't think he's the king. I don't think he's the Jarl or whatever, like, uh, Skyrim. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go in here and we'll see if they can help Bruma. 
which I don't think they can because uh, we got an oblivion gate or something like that, right? That needs Greetings. taken care of. So, uh, yeah, talk to this lady here. Nice legs. It's All a pleasure right. to meet you. I am Countess Valga of Coral. I wish I had time to chat, but I'm afraid I'm in the middle of an investigation. All right. Well, uh, I need a uh, aid for Bruma. While I understand Bruma's need, Coral's own defense must come first. I gotcha. I cannot spare any soldiers as long as Coral remains under threat from the Oblivion Gate outside our walls. All right. So there's another uh, Oblivion Gate. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're going to come over here and uh, maybe take care of that Oblivion Gate. Have you ever but, bought a horse uh, from Bongong? Let's see. I'm not uh, much of a rider. I've heard not sure if, uh, not sure if that guy, let me see, uh, separated at birth. Um, not sure if he made it here yet. No, he's still, he's still kind of walking along. So, uh... I think at this point what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait. Uh, maybe we'll actually wait a whole, or almost a whole day, right? Wait until almost 9 in the morning. And hopefully, hopefully that foo, you know, makes it here in time. And then uh, we kind of, uh, you know, get, get done with that leg of the quest. And there's actually another part of the quest line that we'll have to do before we actually get, um, well, get to wait again because... <laughs> there's another one we have to kind of wait for and we'll get the third part of the uh, quest that will actually lead us to uh, to the sword um, let's see is he just making it into town right now or uh, who that uh, I am not separate yeah so uh, all right um, maybe I'll wait another uh, couple of hours uh, yeah, I'll wait four hours, uh, wait until just afternoon. And, uh... Yeah, now it seems like they're in here. So I think I'll be able to complete this part and get the, the next part of the quest. Hello. There they are. What? So, Hello. Uh, Oh, hey. I haven't seen oh, my son. Hey, 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 hey. Wake up into the forest uh, to fight up. those monsters and... Yeah. I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss, but if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. All right, Weatherly. Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Cool. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. Mm. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Right. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. All right. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Mm. Yeah, I'll help you. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. Gah. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, south of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. All right. So, um, they don't even know where it is, but they don't want know me what to... Dangers to may lurk in the know. Great Forest kind of uh, find it and essentially rid it of, of ogres so they can go back home um, you would think they would at least try to figure out where it is you know but yeah I gotta do that too so uh, let's see I think we've got to talk to one of these guys Pondetard is the name I'm a hunter and mountain man right uh, Weatherly yes I've heard of the place but I'm not sure where it is I think your best bet would be to speak to Sabine Law at the Fighters Guild. Okay. She's explored the backcountry outside of Coral quite a bit. Cool. Farewell. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Fighters Guild is, uh, locked. 
I hope uh, I hope nothing went on with the you know the um, all the mods I have installed because uh, I actually started screwing around with a lot of oh, them. It's you. Um, I kind of thought that uh, I would uh, change it up a bit, but uh, not sure. I'm going going back and forth. You know, there's two different directions I can go. I could either make it uh, who this. You're a bold little thing, aren't you? I'm afraid you're of no use to me. All <laughs> right. Um. What this lady? Hello. I don't think we've met. Hey. Are you new in town? Um. Uh, yeah, sure am. Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Cool. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. All right. It's a little uh, forward to you, but my uh, mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Hey, that might be kind of, kind of a cool uh, little contact to have. Let's see. Um, I might actually have to. Uh, well, I can't break into the Fighters Guild. There's no way. Um, I'm gonna pick a very hard lock, but. Uh, Hopefully it'll open and I can actually uh, join them. But uh, as far as like the armor mods, I've kind of been going in two directions. And one is like moving from Color Wheels uh, Sexy Oblivion Overhaul to running with, uh, I guess, Eve. And uh, Eve essentially makes it... Um, It'll kind of convert everything back to uh, to the vanilla look, but a little bit more curvy, just to kind of fit the bodies, um, which is cool, you know. But uh, hey, he went inside. All right, oi! What the hell, man? They locked me out again. How about from the front? Aye. Is there just like? There we go. Something's going on with it, but, uh... Hey. Well, hello there. Sabine Lowell, Guildsmith. Cool. Real happy to meet you. Nice. So, what can I do for you? Um, Weatherly. Hmm, let me see. Oh, yes, I remember. I think it's directly south of Coral. Place was overrun with ogres, though. Nasty brutes. That's what I heard. Here, let me show you where it is on your map. Nice. All right. And I also Why? want to uh, actually join the... Uh... Hello there. Here we go. What can I do for you? Um, oh, no, I guess not. Goodbye. Uh, I thought the lady was here that uh, would actually let me... Uh... Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're looking for fighters and adventurers. Holy crap. You should join up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're interested, see Valena Danton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, okay. or Burz Grokash in Shadenhall. It looks like she's seen a ghost and made her hair pop out or something. Damn. All right. You um, too. Let's see. Uh, uh. We're actually gonna get a, a better, uh, better weapon than those. Um, let's see. Uh, dang, I was actually hoping that uh, I'd be able to find the lady to uh, join the Fighters Guild because, um, yeah, something's going on with these uh, doors, you know. Um, so now I can't get out, basically. It's like, man, I'm not sure, you know, what's what's causing that, but uh, yeah, it's getting a little a uh, little frustrating there. Uh, there we go. Made a break for it, but uh, as soon as I I, I joined the uh, Fighters Guild, then. Uh, I actually get the key for it, so um, it doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, something, something's going on with it, though. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and um, here's where Weatherly is. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to port outside and start making a run for, for that place. Kind of through the wilderness or whatever. 
So, um, yeah, and here's the uh, Oblivion Gate as well that uh, we're going to have to clear. So, we can maybe... This guy. Now, you know, I mean, we're not really having too much of a problem, you know, killing these guys. Of course, you know, we're still a uh, lower level, so it, they're not, you know, not really the tough enemies yet. Um, but uh, I would like to get a, um, a stronger weapon, just because I've been using this. Uh, this katana for quite a while and um, I'd like to get a uh, some some uh, some gear as well I, I was considering getting the uh, the shrouded armor and just uh, you know we ha we'd have to join the uh, Dark Brotherhood to get it and uh, that that might be kind of cool to do but uh, the problem with that is well, that that gear is somewhat decent. It's um. Wow, look at that crazy lighting effect going on on that tree, huh? I guess all the trees, some from inside, I suppose. And take your gall, boy. I don't even know why, but, uh, anything on these corpses? No, I can't even loot them. Alright, I just wanted to discover this place. So, um, anyways, um, yeah, I was sort of thinking about, um, putting in a, uh, or, or, I'm getting ahead of myself, um, I was sort of thinking about going and joining the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood so I get the shrouded armor because it's actually good it's actually comparable to what I'm wearing now um, except it only weighs I think like two pounds or something so that that would help but uh, the problem is it's enchanted so I have to get my uh, my armor skill up to uh, journeyman or uh, I don't know it, it has to go up quite a bit for me to be able to uh, repair it so that's a little bit of a problem you know because it's it's pretty expensive to uh, to have those repaired. Oh, it's just a big ass rabbit. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I was sort of thinking about putting in. Oh um, yeah. Here are the ogres, little guys though. What's up, little ogre? some gold and yeah, take your teeth man another one he ran down there I'm surprised he didn't hear anything but uh, yeah, I'll get the uh, update there oh there's another little guy What's up, little ogre he got some big hands right? big hands and a little head right. and uh, take your teeth Man, this guy's way down there. Oh, I didn't. I must have changed my bow, so uh, go ahead and change this. Yeah, I think I just kept the real, the shitty one that was real light. Oh, how did he, how did he all of a sudden see me? Oh, I hit him though. <laughs> all right, here we go. Taking him in the head, look at that. One in the shoulder, most of it in the head. Uh, wow, well, got all three out of his head, but uh, yeah, there we go. So now, uh, Weatherly is now, um, it's now clear of ogres. Uh, we can go inside, but there's pretty much just crappy stuff in there. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and port back to, to Coral and, uh, let them know that that all's clear, and I think we actually have to walk them there or something. Uh, let's see.
Uh, here we are. Still here getting all fucked up. Whoa, what the fuck? Alright. Nothing big. Is it safe for us to return to... Yeah, it's safe. Come on. Wonderful. Weatherly is ours. Yep. Are you ready to take us there now? Man, gotta do everything. Yep, let's right. go. Right. We're off. You know, and there's not even, like, a, a good uh, reward for this one. Not this this leg of it, but, uh... Waiting for the brother. Alright, so... Well, it, it's easy enough. We just uh, go ahead and port back, and the quest should be done. So now that's done, and... Uh, I think if I talk to a uh, dude, he just... Thanks so much for getting us here safely. <laughs> he got the I'm afraid we aren't very wealthy, but here is all I can offer you at this time. Please, visit us again soon. Cool. 75 gold. Yeah, whatever. Thanks Wrong a bunch, yo. And uh, now I think, um, essentially, we just have to uh, wait a couple of days or whatever in Coral and... Uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, get the next part of the quest. Good afternoon. Which will actually get us the uh, get us the the honor blade. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wait, um, wait a day, wait two days. But uh, yeah, I think it's two days. So I'll probably wait two and a half or something like that. But uh, yeah, I was sort of thinking about um, um, putting a different uh, armor replacer. But, uh, well, you know, like, Eve is very, very tame and very lore-friendly, and that, that might be okay, but if I do that, I'm sort of thinking that, um, what I should do is, uh, put in some, uh, armor mods, at least to balance it out, to still have that little bit of a sexy twist on it. So, uh, I might do that, but then, again, I might go the other route and kind of jump off the deep end and put in some DMRA, uh, clothing and armor replacers in there that will really make the, the you know push the sexuality like way off the chart but uh, it might be a little offensive to some people so I'm a little bit uh, I don't know a little bit leery about doing that I mean I mean for myself it, it doesn't uh, it's not that big of a deal it's more it's more of a uh, Comical kind I of may thing. have oh, a bit hey. of a proposition for you involving the Germain family right. so recently assisted. Okay, look at your hair, man. What's up with your hair? Uh, yeah, Germain family. It was kind of you to escort the Germains back to Weatherly. However, the original owner of Weatherly left them an even greater legacy. All right. In fact, there's quite a bit more to their family <laughs> history than meets the eye. Want to hear about it? Sure, lean on me, Ming. Excellent. Curiosity should never be denied, is it not so? And who knows, my story may prove profitable to both of us once it has come to its end. My tale actually begins with the father, Albert Germain. He was once in my employ, or should I say, the employ of my organization. Okay. He was very good at obtaining things that people did not want to part with. A professional thief, to put it bluntly. He was assigned to obtain a very valuable item for me. He succeeded, but decided to keep this item for himself. Ah. An unfortunate decision. He fled from Coral with his family and was never heard from again. Only his small son, Reynald, was found, wandering alone in the wilderness. Naturally, my associates and I believed he had perished. The wilderness is, after all, a dangerous place. No place to take your family. Then, these many years later, voila, the brother reappears. It seems the rest of the family did not die in the wilderness after all. Right. Surprise, surprise. So, uh, yeah, what you want me to do, man? Indeed. What is the point of my tale? Yeah, we're trying to say... Albert it. Germain builds Weatherly way out in the middle of nowhere. All right. He was a thief, not a farmer. Yeah. The only reason to establish such a place would be to stay out of the Coral Guard's sight. That's true. I believe that the item Albert stole, which rightly belongs to me, was hidden at the Weatherly Settlement. Unfortunately, the notorious Red Guard Valley Ogres ransacked the place and probably took all of the loot back with them. 
Grand Sakari. If you were to obtain this item somehow and bring it to me, I would pay you very well for it. I can get you started by telling you where the ogres live. The rest is up to you. All right. Yeah, um... Gilbert and Reynald know nothing of their father's past deeds. If you want to tell them about it, suit yourself. Hmm. Okay. I do not care to describe it. You will know it when you see it, I think. Okay. It is not something one of the ogres should have in his possession. All right. Um, let's see. There isn't much to tell you about Albert Germain. He was one of my best. Then he got greedy. The rest is history. Mm. A greedy thief, huh? Who the thunk it, man? Who the thunk it? All right. Um, you but shouldn't pass on golden opportunities. This this guy, he's actually the uh, the fence for uh, the thieves' guild, I guess. So uh, by starting this, then we can't launder any uh, any stolen goods through him. But uh, I really wasn't doing that anyways. So uh, not really that big of a deal. Um, and here's the, the Red Valley, Redguard Valley Cave, I guess. Um, and that's actually where we're going to find the, uh, the Honor Blade. So we'll go ahead and we'll port to Weatherly and just, you know, make a little run to the, I guess, to, what is that, to the east there. And, uh, kind of try to, uh, get that, um, get that blade for ourselves. Now, uh. It's not the, you know, it's not going to be unbelievably strong, you know, but uh, it is going to be quite a bit more than uh, what this uh, this katana that I have um, puts out. I think it's like something 50% more, something like that. Hey, you know, it's not the most powerful sword in the game, but uh, it's probably one of the most powerful weapons I can have at, at this level. So, uh, you know, exception of being like the, uh, the Umbra and stuff, but, uh, the Umbra is a little bit hard to get at the lower levels. I mean, it's not, you know, impossible, but, uh, you gotta kind of use some cheesy fucking tactics to get it, actually, so, uh, I'd rather not do that, you know, um, at least not now. Rusty Iron Short Sword. I thought that's all that was after me, but uh, maybe there's something else. I'm not sure. I kind of wanted to save before we go into this cave, but uh, something's chasing me. Ain't gonna let me. Oh, where'd this guy come from? He. Hey. <laughs> all right. Um, he didn't have nothing on him. I think he had a mace or something. So uh, yeah, here's the Red Guard Valley Cave. And what we're going to do is just we're going to do a, a quick save right here outside. And we're going to go inside and get our damn sword now. Now there's quite a few little ogres in here, these little guys. But actually the one that, that's going to have it, Silver Spoon, why do I want that? Uh, willpower? What? What am I? Willpower? Go ahead and take the ogre teeth. I should kind of clear out this place as I go. Because sometimes these guys kind of pop out of nowhere because, uh, well, not out of nowhere, but, uh, you know, you'll kind of think a, a room's clear and then uh, kind of be using it because we're going to have to fight this kind of a mini-boss character. Um, that, uh, he's, actually, he's actually pretty mean, you know, but uh, we'll be able to kind of use the, uh, the terrain to our advantage here, so... Uh, Kind of want to make sure that every all these uh, little ogres are, are taken care of, uh, so we're not kind of caught on a because uh, you know, because the guy that we're actually going to be fighting hits pretty damn hard. I mean, these little guys hit pretty hard, but uh, 
you'll see this other guy, he's uh, a little bit different. So. teeth and uh, well there might be some more if we keep continuing through but uh, uh, for now at least to get the blade I don't think we have to because I believe it's right down here somewhere I think, I think it's that way but uh, yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do another quick save here because uh, this guy we're about to face he's a uh, he's a little mean man and uh, can actually I think kind of kill us within you know a couple of two or three hits so uh, kind of gotta be a little careful let's see uh, I don't see him unless that's him I don't think it is though that is the room he's in though is he's in the one with the fire Is he hiding in a corner or something? Oh, he's he's right there. Oi, 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 oi. Waited a little bit longer. Oh, I'm stuck. That's it. Oi. Oh, you really didn't hit me that hard this time. Oh no, don't go. <laughs> so you got a little brave there. I'm trying to just take him down like this, man. right into it so <laughs> yeah and there's the honor blade of coral and uh, one of the big things about this is since it's a, a quest item it doesn't weigh anything you know it's not enchanted so we can repair it and you'll see it's uh, damage output is actually quite a bit better than this uh, katana that I have um, of course, this one isn't uh, repaired, but let's see if I go ahead and repair all my stuff, which I should anyways. Um, you can see now it's about 50% more than the, the Avakiri or Akaviri uh, Katana, which is uh, pretty good. And it doesn't weigh anything, and that's, that's the greatest thing about it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that one on there. So now we got a new blade. So, uh, yeah. Um... That's all there was to it. Didn't take us too long to get 
Um, I was actually gonna break this into two, two episodes, but uh... <laughs> when you see it, you know, it's not like it's going around uh, one shot and everything or anything, you know, like that, but uh, it is quite a bit more effective. So, um, and that'll be a little bit more apparent um, when we go like into the uh, um, Oblivion Gates and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like the, the Oblivion Gates are getting, you know, too hard or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's gonna make things go a little bit quicker. Um, I think it'll keep on you know, it, it's a uh, its power will keep on going up because it's it's a non-leveled weapon, so it's always kind of the strongest it'll be. Um, you know, because some of the weapons here in uh, in Oblivion, um, if you get it at a low level, it'll be kind of a crappy weapon towards the end. Uh, but uh, other ones that are non-leveled are always kind of at their strongest. So uh, this is one of those, and it, it'll kind of. Um, as, as our blade skill increases, as our strength increases, um, we'll be able to kind of do more damage with it. It's going to kind of keep up, kind of grow with us, basically. So, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I was going to cut this into two, but I decided I'll put the honor blade all in one. And, uh, I don't know, just kind of show from start to finish, you know, how to get it. So, uh, anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, not sure if next time uh, I pick it up that... Uh, might have some extremely sexy gear on or it may be extremely tame I, I don't know you know but <laughs> going back and forth on it um, yeah but uh, anyways you know I hope you uh, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the series I uh, want to thank you guys for watching you know always appreciate it uh, really helps me out and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time all right